everyone, it's Jenna here for Scrapineers.com and as this month we are talking about paper piecing and um, all the possibilities that we can mix paper and uh, digital and I wanted to show uh, and talk to you about the Cricut and the Cricut design space. I have a Cricut and I love my Cricut and um, usually people don't uh, know that uh, the Cricut now doesn't work anymore with uh, cartridges um, in a, I want to show you the new uh, design space that the Cricut has the Cricut used to do everything on the Cricut and there was a time that they had a little device there you could do things but now everything is web based and also you can use your iPad so when you go to the Cricut and you can install also um, a web uh, plugin to use the Cricut design space. So here what Cricut offers is uh, a lot of ready-made uh, projects for you and ideas and what is nice about is that you can choose an idea that you love for example if you want to do this mug and they tell you here everything that you need and all the instructions and the neat thing is that when you want to do this project inside uh, the Cricut design space um, it sets all the mats for you everything ready to go and you just um, cut so um, so for example here it has make it now so you can just make it now um, and it's gonna the cricket is gonna put everything that you need inside the mats and you just have to put these materials here for you to cut so but I want to show you the cricket design space here so once you are um, on the cricket design space then you can click new project and this is the the design space so pretty much you have here um, if you want to insert images, upload images, we have shapes, we have text, and here is a canvas is that, for example, if you were doing, um, for example, you want to do a t-shirt, so here you can uh, work with the canvas to know exactly where your uh, project is going to be on that uh, t-shirt. So then you can create, if you're doing the back of the t-shirt and the front of the t-shirt, and you can create your project and see how does that fit, um, you know, whatever project you're going to do. So let's start um, showing you, um, I don't want to actually, I don't want to, I'm going to go back to a new project. So. Um, as I, I said, you can create your own shapes here and you can start creating. And there is also a score line. So if you're doing a project that you need um, to fold the paper, you can create your own uh, shapes and star lines. Suppose you wanna cut a tag and things like that. Something neat now is that you can upload your own images. So now, you can buy from the Cricut store, but you can also upload your own images and they can be JPEG, GIF, SVGs, and DXF files. Um, and you also can uh, use your own patterns and pictures. If you want to cut your own pictures, you can upload them and print and cut. But first, before I show you this, let me show you here in the insert is when you can go to the library that Cricut has. So instead of cartridges now, they have a library. And if you go um, here, you can see also that they have um, free. So for example, you can just click on the free. So right now they have 568 free images that you can use and you can um, create your own projects and, and combine them and mix them and do things like that. So many nice shapes here for you to create tons of things. They have fonts as well. Um, and now the Cricut cuts in different, very different materials and even leather. Um, they have different materials that you can cut. So um, my Cricut, um, now they have a new Cricut that it has wireless connection, but my Cricut came with an adapter um, uh, slot, so I bought an adapter and my Cricut connects with 
my iPad. So in the iPad, you can um, connect the Cricut and they have the same design space here on the iPad. And the iPad uh, sends the stuff to cut from your, uh, to your Cricut. So you don't need anymore to have a computer uh, hooked to your Cricut. The same thing with if I'm on the desktop, my Cricut is not close to me right now, it's not connected to this computer, but I can still send to my Cricut through wireless and cut uh, everything that I want. So that's a nice thing because I remember when I used a Cricut first time, I have to have all the setup and, and um, wires and everything connected. So for us digital scrappers, you can um, create uh, uh, eight and a half by 11 um, design and PNG and create a printing cut. And here I have one that I created. I'm going to insert with some digital elements from Angie Young Designs from All Scraps. And if I make it bigger here, so as you can see, I did a PNG. So I put in Photoshop a PNG and I just uh, dragged the elements and I saved in the Cricut. So um, the Cricut also, when you are uploading um, your images, is gonna take the images and create also a cut file. So as you can see here, I have a same cut file of this doll here. So every time it uploads, it uploads your images and, and if it's possible, creates a, a printing cut for you. So here you can see that I have a printing cut because it has this little printer here. But if I insert, let's grab one that is free. So let's get this cute out here. I have this cute owl. As you see now, when you get a printing cut file, here in the layers, you have all separate layers here. And you can, you know, if you're creating things, you can yell, you can attach, you can flatten them, and uh, you can edit the size and the position and things like that. So if you come here, you can, um, you know, change things if you want to do this a printing cut you certainly can do that um, here if you click on this little scissors instead of cutting i can create a writing so now if i put my pen this is the pen is gonna write it's gonna draw this instead of uh, cutting so i can put the other one to draw and this one to draw so now it's a drawing out instead of a cutting out. So let me go back to cut, cut, and cut. So now it's back. So this here I'm going to delete, so I just want to show. I don't know, my Cricut is not on right now. But once you're ready to cut and you see things, you're just going to go and uh, I don't know, I didn't even see the size that I'm putting this. It's too large. Because my canvas is on 50%, it's not 100%. So let me put, yeah, it's very big. So let me reduce this little guy. So although my my Cricut is not connected right now, so I can show you the mat. So what the Cricut does already, it prepares for you um, all in the in different mats according to the color that you want. If you want uh, to cut everything on the same paper, you can just flat um, these layers here. You can flat with each other, and or you can just put you know the same mat and. Uh, it's not complicated. So um, as you can see now, the Cricut is very uh, versatile now. I use also to um, print and cut um, planner materials that we buy. I buy um, digital um, 
So it's so as you can see here, um, I used to uh, to cut my planner thing. So you can just create your own um, sticker sheet with your um, with your um, elements from a kit. So. Um, I hope you enjoy and um, also I wanted to point out that if you were a Cricut user before and you have cartridges, you can um, connect your cartridges to the uh, design space. They have all the cartridges here so you can have, you don't lose your cartridges. They can connect um, here and you can have all your designs again. So. Um, I love my Cricut now. It's very versatile. I love the fact that I can use my iPad. And I think you can create a lot between digital and um, with the Cricut for even for a home decor and other things that it doesn't need particularly to be just craft or scrapbooking. So I think it has a, a lot of potential and um, is a machine that cuts many kinds of different materials, vinyl and sticker sheets and leather and foam boards and uh, you know so you can do even 3d elements with it so um, I hope you enjoy and if you're curious you didn't know the Cricut and didn't know how the design space work I hope this helped you thank you